be performed um, at all levels of play in a balanced way. Very few champions can actually make that. But Atrox is in a state that there is no numbers changes they could do to fix it. He needs a systemic change to his kit in order to make him both less annoying to play against and more reliable in solo queue. Classic League of Legends game mode would probably be more success on today's version. Dude, if they all, if they release League of Legends old school, like from five years ago, I would quit this game overnight and play that one. And I would never look back. I'd be so happy. I'd kill for that. More, don't I? No, I have armor. Good. What was old League like season five? In general, games lasted somewhere between 30 and 40 minutes, and I know it's not really a fair thing to say because I was, at that point when I was playing Zack, I was usually playing it in Diamond. Diamond games are lasting 30 to 40 minutes, and in general, when you think about it, um, Diamond is a good barometer for... Still hit me, huh? Oh, fuck. Didn't change the hotkey. Or, excuse me, I didn't change it too quick, guys. I got the wave. I do need to be careful. I gotta do this. But yes, if games are lasting to 30 to 40 minutes on high ELO, then in lower ELO, the games are lasting a lot longer. Right now, in high ELO, the games are averaging somewhere between 20 and... That was pretty good. He did not handle that well at all. He thought I was just going to roam and join them, but this is more fun for me. Still hit me, huh? Nice, they still got him. Cool, he missed out on a, a bit of CS and experience in that little roam. So yeah, unfortunately, I like I'm I think the league was much better four or five years ago because in the games it was the perfect length. But nowadays I'm guessing like the perfect length of games are finding an iron and bronze, where they're actually playing the 30 to 40 minute games. Because again, in lower yellow games last long. That's just in general how it is. I'm gonna take a turret. Will not take a shot. Damn. Damn it. Damn it. Whatever. Hmm? Yeah, you shouldn't do that. 
Unfortunately, I'm out of mana. So is he. But... Still lands it. This is fine, though. I have enough mana for one EW combo. I got enough mana for an EQW combo. Yes, here. Let me just shove this in. Wow, that still got the knockup, huh? I gotta be careful. I've got no vision. Damn, I really want to stay and kill him, but we'll just play it. let's play it safe. I'm running conquer. We're going for the long game here. This and this over here, that right here. Yeah, back the fuck off, dude. And the best part is it's shoving towards me, so I not only slowed down his back, but ensured that he's gonna miss some of this. Oops. I say it's pushing towards me. I'm not so sure anymore. I think it still is, but only barely. Just barely still pushing towards me. The cyan is screwed, hopefully. He did just teleport. He got Bramble first. It would have been nice if the Rangar showed up. This would have been an easy kill. He's got no flash. I'm pretty sure his flash is still down. This would have been an easy kill. Run away! Run away from the farm! Which I'm not allowing you to get. Huh? The deuce? And I'm, oh, I didn't quite get out, but I did win that trade. Too predictable, man. You're too predictable. That is how you win this lane. You predict when he's going to use that Q. You predict it well, he'll never land it. Because you'll interrupt it. Oh, he's dead. He's just dead. This guy's terrible. This guy's absolutely awful. What is he doing? Have people just not played Cyan in so long they've forgotten how to play the champion? Because that was just terrible. This guy is... I, I can't believe I'm saying this. I miss a good Scion right about now. Because this would be a much more interesting lane if he were better. He's just playing obvious. Scion is not a champion about doing the obvious thing. He's all skill shots. You gotta be... You gotta be more... You gotta be better than that. Damn it. Well, there goes my pink ward. It was nice of it to, to be here. Let's get another one then. Do not have teleport. You're on your own. Nice. Ah! Oh my god, he might get away. Oh my god, he's gonna get away. Oh, that was... Oh my god, he just... Perfectly juked the Scion R. Awesome. Time to sell your D4 account, really. <laughs> Would people actually spend money for a high yellow account? I I, I don't understand. I don't think I would. Like, well, obviously, I never would. I never would even consider buying a WoW account, even during the time where it actually would have made the game more fun to not level up. Alright, my ult's up in 16 seconds, but more importantly... I want to hit 9. Once I hit 9, I can kill him casual. His R should still be down. What the hell? My minions are being very rude.
Not my pink ward. Oh no, whatever shall I do. I'm just trying to heal right now. This is fine. Once I hit 9, you will be shocked at the amount of damage I output. How the fuck does that still connect? Also, it'd be really nice if the entire um, window of that ability were just known from the start. Hmm, this is actually dangerous. A little bit too low. I'm just gonna wait under turret. He's gonna shove this. And as long as he shoves it, I'm gonna... Watch this. I'm at 400 health right now. I will heal back enough to be able to fight and kill. It won't take too much. Wouldn't spend a buck on this game. You and so many others. Oh, that's right, he's got a fucking Bramble Vest. He might be dead, let's see. Damn it, no. His arm made him uh, invulnerable. I was hoping he would end his journey a little earlier. That's okay. This guy's terrible. He's got Bramble Vest! He can't be under the turret for any reason. I auto him once and the turret will aggro. He's one mistake away from death. In fact, I'm sure he is very well aware. Where is he? Now I just heal back up. He's dead. Just so. Just. Yeah, it's unfortunate. The Scion has some of the mechanics down, but his execution is all over the place. And it's getting him killed. He's making some very beginner mistakes. I like how it was exactly the last bullet of my W that killed him. And my team's kicking ass. All right, it's another one-sided stomp. But I'm on the right side, and I'm against a good lane opponent. Excuse me, a uh, a fun lane opponent. Because if this Ion were good, as opposed to how he is right now, this would still be a fun one. Where are you going so fast, buddy? Poor guy. He's clearly tilted. In his shoes, I'd probably be tilted too. But that was a terrible decision on his part to teleport in like that and shove him. He needed to shove safely and he did. And now I get to take a plate or two. Yeah, he's gone for a while. He's teleporting down and all. So now there's con confirmed evidence video wise that doing the W auto trick, like I'm doing, increases your damage, your uh, rate of damage, especially against turrets. We need to do everything we can to do as much damage to turrets as we can, because this game ain't fair to range champions anymore. Nice. <laughs> My E works both ways, to get into your Q or out of it. I got it. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. It's 
Now that I have Daph's Dance, it doesn't matter. This lane's done so. I don't care if you have Bramble Vest, this lane's done. I wonder why he didn't ult you for the kill. Hmm. Uh, Rango? Oh, these guys are screwed. Oh my god, these guys are screwed. Wasting my R on this. Silly Scion! Silly Scion. God, I hate Storm Razor. Because of situations like that where you just suddenly get you suddenly get this instant slow that hits you at range. It's a very frustrating effect. It just feels like a weird bit of utility to give an item for basically non-skill shot based champs. Yes, existence is torment indeed. Hooray, we're on the right side of the one-sided stomp. No! Yes! Oh yeah! The fucking predict a kill! No, I want to kill that one. Oh my god, I nearly got one. Nearly got two, actually. Okay, there goes one, there goes two, and there goes three. Alright, alright, that's acceptable. <laughs> my efforts were not fruitless. It did result in three kills. Good. I did a lot of damage. That was ridiculous amounts of damage. Unfortunately, my Q hit both of them, so my W lock on wasn't hitting the Vi when she was running away. If it was, I would have killed her myself, and the Triumph heal probably would have allowed me to survive. Too bad. That's one of those times where it would have been better if my Q did not hit the target. Now, um, let's grab this. It's actually not that common an occurrence. Although when it happens, it really sucks. You shit. So no righteous glory, 30 seconds for ghost. I probably can't force a kill on him. And even then, his R is a pretty good get out of jail free card when it comes to me. I don't have the ability to just flash in front of it. You no longer do enough damage to worry me. But your teammates scare me. Just look at that damage. I dare you to walk up to this. Mm -hmm. He shielded when I threw my R, so I didn't actually have enough damage to kill him. Pre-shield, I think I did. Post-shield, definitely not. My R does only... Oh, actually, shit, maybe it did have enough damage. I forgot, it is rank 2 at this point. It actually does okay damage at rank 2. Not much, but okay damage. Oh, and I'm back to full health, so none of this matters yet. Hooray! Another terrible game! But I'm on the right side, so... Fun! Yay! <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. This game's very much over. Hmm. 
I think the Nautilus is upset at his 80 carry. She would have died if somebody had continued chasing her. Hey there, Tom. Good to see you again. I have you ready set for the month. Yeah, what the hell? That's odd. I could have sworn that, yeah, you had indeed subbed earlier. This is weird. I really don't know why they haven't surrendered. It's 20 minutes they've lost both in Hibs. I would vote to surrender if I were on their team. Kinda do want this blue buff. Ah, oh, they surrendered. Yeah, there it is. That, that's that's exactly what I was expecting when Damn, I really wanted to buy. I had enough for Rachel's Glory, and I, I don't even think I needed a Bramble Vest, but I could have bought one. Probably would have gotten a Phage. I think I had enough for Rachel's Glory and Phage, which would have been good, I guess. Yeah, why did that happen, then? That's confusing. Finally, good. that was not a good game. That was a terrible game. I was just on the right side of it. Like, this is, it's another terrible game. Just that I get to have fun. That's the thats the only difference between this game and last game. They were both objectively terrible games. But one game I had fun and one I didn't. That's just, and they, I'm sure they had no fun that game. Fuck, that sign probably was miserable. And he didn't even have the worst lane. I don't know who on their team had the worst lane. I don't, like, I, I feel like a spectator that game and I crush my lane. Twenty minutes forty seven seconds. Amazing. There's a pattern here. All the bad games tend to be short. Not all of them, but most of them. Let's have a look at the damage. I'm sure I did a lot, yeah. I did tons of damage. It was mostly against the Scion. Like even that's crazy. I did like I'm in the top three damage dealers. We're all very close in damage. And I still feel like I didn't do much that game. I feel like I, I if I wasn't in that game. I think it still would have been a win. If the sign and I had traded places, we I definitely would have been still been on the losing team. Like this is a game where neither one of us had any significant impact. He actually did a lot more damage than I was expecting. What did he build? I, I guess it must have been the Thornmail and uh, Bomby Cinder that was giving him that extra oomph. Not enough, obviously. Before I forget, let's, let's have a quick look.